Texas Senator Ted Cruz faced some backlash on Thursday after saying that he would no longer wear a face mask on the uh, Senate floor or in the U.S. Capitol. Cruz told CNN that he was ditching the mask because he and everybody working in the Senate have received their COVID vaccination, so therefore, it's fine. We don't have to wear a mask anymore. It's good. We got vaccinated. Uh, unfortunately, that's not exactly how it works. So now, getting a vaccine is good, and I, and I definitely suggest that everybody do so. Um, you know, when you are when you are eligible to be able to do so. Uh, that said, that doesn't mean that we can. As soon as you're vaccinated, you're 100 percent immune and you're good to go. Uh, that's that's not how it works. Okay, there are still chances. There are still uh, ways that the, you could still get impacted by the virus, get sick from it, uh, even though it's it's much more rare. Uh, and if you do get sick from it, it, it's not as deadly. It's not as lethal. And there's still disputed science on whether or not you can still give it to somebody else, uh, even if you've had the vaccine. So really, again, the CDC is saying that, hey, you should still, out of an abundance of caution, wear the mask until the uh, the, the cases start to, you know, decrease in in a big big way and it hasn't done so in fact according to the cdc people who have been fully vaccinated yes are able to visit a home or private setting without a mask with other fully vaccinated people of any age they can also visit inside a home or private setting without a mask with one household or unvaccinated people who are not at risk for severe illness so generally that's pretty clear. Small areas. Now, the Senate isn't exactly small. The U.S. Capitol is not exactly small. Okay? Uh, now, for um, medium or large-sized gatherings of people, here's what the CDC recommends. Avoiding those, adhering to workplace guidance, and against visiting indoors without a mask with people at increased risk for severe illness from COVID-19. Uh, which, of course, if you look at the people that make up the Senate and the Capitol building, most of them are pretty freaking ancient and therefore are at higher risk. Uh, not only that, but the CDC also guidance uh, uh, statement, I'm sorry, the CDC guidance also states, we're still learning how vaccines will affect the spread of COVID-19. Uh, people need to keep taking precautions after being vaccinated, like wearing a mask, doing social distancing and avoiding crowds in poorly ventilated spaces and public places until we know more. Lawmakers in the Senate, unlike the House, are not mandated to wear masks, but they probably should. Because there is over a hundred plus people in the Senate at any given time. It's not just the senators that are in there. You also have aides, you also have reporters, you have people that may or may not have been eligible for vaccination. Uh, and so you might want to be considered about the health of other people as well. Okay. Uh, and again, I think as far as my opinion is concerned, Ted Cruz should always wear a mask because it's Ted Cruz. <laughs> uh, nobody wants to see his smarmy face. Uh, but this is me. But as far as uh, Ted Cruz is concerned, he doesn't give a shit about other people. As soon as he, you know, gets the opportunity, like I'm ripping this mask right off. Now, all right, so here's the thing about a lot of these Republicans. They're, they're worse than children. They really are. Oh, the, it's uncomfortable. I, I, I can't breathe. The, uh, the, the, my freedom is to, to show my ugly face everywhere. Here's the thing. You got, you got doctors, you got nurses, you got medical assistants, you got fast food workers that have to wear masks all day long now. If they can do it, so can Ted Cruz. <laughs> I mean, stop crying about how you can't breathe through a thin piece of fabric, okay? So obviously this went over like a lead balloon on Twitter. Uh, in fact, here's uh, some responses. The modern conservative movement, I'm fine. I don't care about other people. How often have we seen that to be true? Uh, another person says, Ted Cruz is a self-centered jerk. He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Uh, and a person with the uh, best handle ever, a big dumb idiot man. Here's what he says. 
After 13 months of a major pandemic, our senators still don't understand the basic concept of setting a precedent for other people. It's really not that complicated. You know, for somebody who calls himself a big dumb idiot man, he is on point. Absolutely on point. And then finally, last one. Hey, Ted Cruz, if you're vaccinated, you can still pass COVID-19. That lands in your and stays alive for 72 hours. I'll have to check the, the science on that one. Um, but then says this, you're a pathetic, selfish little snowflake, POS. You will get Lysol if you come near me without a mask. Correct. Correct. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.